Hello KW, I'm here today to show you guys how to import your contacts through uh, the eEdge control panel and the eEdge system. So today's video, we're going to assume that you've already logged into your KW account. And once you're on your home page, you're going to go ahead and click on view contacts right here on the eEdge control panel. So once you click on that link, that's going to take you over to your uh, contacts and you should see a list or contacts that you already have. If you notice that you don't have any on there then that's what we're gonna fix today. So I have already created a list of my contact information of my contacts and so what I'd like is for you guys to already have that ready so that you can go ahead and pull that in. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to contacts. On the drop down menu you'll see all contacts recently active, add a contact, manage groups, and import and export. Before we can import a group of, uh, of people, we need to have a group to import it to. And so we're going to go to Manage Groups and click on that. Uh, here you can see my groups that I've already created. I want to create a new group that I'll be importing to, so I'm going to create Import, import Group, and we're going to save that. And now you'll see it right here on import group. You'll notice that I have zero contacts in that group. Um, this is what we're going to fix. We're going to go ahead and pull our new contacts in. So we're going to go back to our contacts tab and scroll on down to or mouse over to uh, import export. Go ahead and click on that and that brings up your import page. You'll have a couple tabs on here. You got import contacts, export contacts, and export messages. The tab that we're dealing with today is the uh, import contacts. So with that, we are going to select our group that we just created, our import group. We are going to set the contact status as active, and I just leave these all as defaults, the active and the buyer. I just want to let you know that if you do that for this, every contact in here will be set up as the same status so you'll have active status and buyer type for each contact that's in your group. I always recommend that you go back through and and update those once they're in your database. And so we're going to import a file, a custom CSV file. What I've done is I went ahead and I downloaded this custom import template and I added the contacts that I wanted there are some things to know before you add your people. You want to make sure that you have a first name, a last name, and their email address or a physical address in there. If you don't have those, then the import will not work and it will come up with errors. And so we want to make sure that we have at least those three pieces of information in there before you begin importing. So I am going to browse to my uh, file that I have my imports and that should be under training customer import and as you see I can type it in or I can scroll on down and I'm just looking for my training customers training customer import list. I'll double click on that and that'll populate right here. So now I'm going to go ahead and click import and the system will work. So it's saying that the system has successfully imported on the very top right here. If you scroll on down to the bottom it shows your imported jobs and it says waiting to run. So for that it may take a few minutes depending on how large your your file is how, how many contacts you have. And so what I do is I go ahead and click F5 to refresh and that'll refresh the page and it still says waiting to run. So as soon as that's finished we will see what we've imported. So now we're back and you can see that our import job has been completed. It shows down here on the right hand side that three contacts have been imported and zero failed. If there were a failed 
contact, it would give you the line from your database uh, that, that failed. And that way you can easily go back and correct any information that was wrong. And so we are going to go ahead and scroll on up to the top and go back to all our contacts. And this shows all my contacts. And so I want to I want to see my import group. And so I will click on my import group right here and click search and that'll show me the three new contacts that I just imported. And you can see it's Donald Duck, Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. So that's how you get your contacts into your database. If you have any questions, please contact myself or Abby. I want to thank you for watching and have a great day.